Ladies and gentlemen, Sides Drafe here to announce the winners of my World of Tanks screenshot contest that I held on the Duckster website. This was not easy, my friends. Over 260 submissions, and there were some really fantastic entries. It was hard to choose, but I finally narrowed it down to about 15. I then sent those off to some artist friends of mine, and uh, we narrowed it down even further. However, it was so difficult, I decided to change things up a bit. Instead of two winners total, I've increased it to four. Because, again, it was just really hard for me to choose. I was like, you know what? Let's throw out some more gold. And uh, so, therefore, there will be two winners for North America and two winners for Europe. And uh, the amounts will be the same. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the first winner. Tennis Fencer 91. This is a lovely shot of artillery. Although I'm not a huge fan of Artie, I wasn't going to hold it against this picture. It's gorgeous. You've got the artillery piece in the foreground protecting this base. You can see the flag there, and I love that that's actually included. You've got the sun right above the gun barrel, and the lighting is just exquisite. So congratulations, Tennis Fencer. Enjoy the gold. Our next winner, also from the North American server cluster, Matt Senzo. He brings us two Tiger tanks rolling together with their dreaded 88s pointed to the left looking for targets. This image has you traveling with them embedded. You could perhaps be an infantryman alongside these tanks looking out at them as they move forward. And this one is nice too because you're wanting to go through the road past the buildings and then you look up at this great sky. You can even feel how cold it is here. And uh, just a really great composition. And I love the fact that there's two of the same tanks in the image. So congrats, Matt Senzo. And now our first winner from the European server cluster, Wizard of Oz 1. Showcasing one of the most enjoyable jumps of any video game. This is one that just brought a smile to my face, really, because he has his tank. You can see that tank almost trying so hard to make this jump. He's dead center, lined up with the castle in the background, the clouds up above, some nice lighting. And, well, apparently he made the jump, according to the comments on Duckster. And supposedly there's a replay available, so you might want to check that out. But congratulations, Wizard of Oz 1, on the jump, as well as the screenshot. And last, but definitely not least, Slizzo underscore SK. This is a very simple but sexy screenshot, and it very much does a good job of showcasing the beauty and the beast. This is also a level that we don't get to see very often because it's reserved for lower tier tanks. But I like how he has the church off into the left in full frame, and then the rolling hills surrounding the tank with him in motion moving towards you. Just an all around great shot, and very simplistic, and sometimes that's all you need. So with that, congratulations, Slizzo underscore SK. And of course, congratulations to all of our other winners, but more so congratulations to everyone that took the time to enter. And when I was browsing these images, I noticed something. I noticed that this contest brought people together. I saw that a lot of people were commenting on the screenshots and in some cases trying to provide valuable feedback and critique. I noticed that people were helping each other out, and that was a beautiful thing in itself. Because more often than not, we do see the beast within gaming. We see the dark side of humanity within these titles. And it was nice to see people being friendly and positive, helping each other out. Saying, hey, you know, this is a great shot, but maybe you could improve it by doing this. And that was great. People knew that gold was on the line, but they still wanted to help each other out. And that's what gaming to me is all about that's what world of tanks is about and i'm very thankful to have such a great community and i'm really glad that duckster is a place that we can all gather together to perhaps create these communities and maybe even more contests and events in the future so with that i'm sure some of you are also wondering why some of these other images didn't win and in fact i could say that they easily tied with a lot of the winners it's just that when it came down to it i had to pick four 
You may feel that some of these were really simple, and in some cases that's the point. All you had to do was get a nice picture that showcased certain aspects of the game that I feel are often overlooked. And with these images, it also proves that you don't have to be good at anything. You didn't have to send me an award-winning game. You didn't have to send me a crazy firefight. You didn't have to send me some masterfully photographed uh, image. And there was no Photoshop or editing allowed. There were no mods allowed, so the contest was kept as fair as possible. And again, this was also a test bed. This is simply the beginning. Uh, there's plenty of room for contests and events in the future, also utilizing the Duxter website. Uh, speaking of which, I want to give a special thanks to the Duxter staff for helping me out and catering to my needs. Uh, the website didn't explode when it was hit by 260 plus screenshots in a very uh, small amount of time. I was able to scroll down my wall, pick out the thumbnails that I like, expand the image, get the full quality, full resolution image without any compression. Uh, fantastic to have a reliable website to get things done on and I look forward to using it for future events but uh, I also want to take this time to give a very special shout out to the lovely Duxter Queen herself she's the one responsible for bringing me and other youtubers and streamers to the website she busts her ass on a daily basis dealing with people like us and uh, getting these events up and running passing out prizes and trying to even work with developers to get more support for things like this so a lot goes into it and I really appreciate everything that she's done for me and uh, I think everyone else should perhaps create a post on the website and tag her in it and say thank you in some way but uh, ladies and gentlemen of course to those of you that have won gold prizes today they have already been delivered and uh, you'll want to keep an eye on your email or you'll want to log in to the World of Tanks website to accept the gift they will not automatically populate within your account. You need to go to the web page, log in, and accept the gift package, which might be located at the top right-hand corner of your screen. Again, I have already delivered them. And uh, with that, ladies and gentlemen, each and every one of you, thank you so very much for joining me. I will definitely see you on the next one.